Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Tevin Farmer stops James Tennyson in the fifth round. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel, donations of MO donations, and the Patreon family. We working live from Boston. The Zone has a card headlined by Demetrius Andrade versus Kautun Duakwa. It was supposed to be Billy Joe Saunders, but he failed a drug test. Now, I want to talk about James Tennyson getting stopped by Tevin Farmer. Congrats to Tevin Farmer. He got a fifth round stoppage. He was up on, should be up on everyone's scorecard. He was pretty well dominating. Um, I didn't really know much about Tennyson. He had a big frame for the division. They said he was a big puncher, but he hadn't fought world level dudes. And that's what Tevin Farmer kind of said. He says, they keep saying he's going to knock me out. Well, I'm going to knock him out. You know, I love being um, challenged. And, you know, if they say I can't do it, it makes me want to do it more. They talked about Tevin Farmer being shot in the head. Um, Performance-wise, Tevin Farmer, he looked great. You know, he was very skilled. I actually thought to a point, to be honest, um, around the third round, there was some shots that Tennyson was landing far and few in between but he landed a succession of a couple uppercuts so I, I thought Tevin Farmer was being a little bit too aggressive but obviously he had a game plan him and his team and it paid off because two rounds later he was able to get the stoppage he knocked down Tennyson to the body in the fourth round and I think they said Tennyson had been knocked down seven times in his career and I think a lot of them were body shots so just like Van Dam said in Bloodsport when he was talking to his friend he said Chung Lee is sweet in the gut you know so I guess um Tennyson that was maybe his kryptonite the body shots and Tevin Farmer dropped him round four and then he dropped him maybe two more times in the fifth round and he he started doing yoga or something like he was really out there hurt and smart move from from Tevin Farmer to be that aggressive and show him that he wasn't on a world championship caliber you know remind him quick don't let the power puncher get um any type of confidence going in there you know so i had farmer winning every round he looked sharp let his hands go and he has a good style he has a good style because he he was styling on tennyson in terms of slickness deflecting dodging shots uh, catch and shoot you know footwork but he's also has offense too you know and that's the mark of a complete fighter. They did a little bio, which I like from DAZN. You know, I like when they, they give a little background. I know Tevin Farmer personally, but, you know, I didn't know much about Tennyson. So it's good to hear a little quick story. And Tevin Farmer was saying, like, he, he just defies the odds. He feels like his career has had two different sections. You know, the first, he was learning on the job. So he took early career losses, obviously, notably Jose Pedraza and stuff like that. And he learned from that and he got better. He got a better team or got a team. And then, you know, it's been on and popping. So congrats to Tevin Farmer on a successful title defense. I got to see Javante Tank Davis and Tevin Farmer. You know, I got to. They've been going at each other's throats, at each other's necks. They're both my guys. I, I, I wish them the best, but I got to see them. You know, I, I want to see that fight. Really interesting style. Tennyson, he doesn't have... Like, Tennyson has, I guess, has power, but he doesn't have the experience and he like, accuracy. Tank Davis is more accurate and more explosive, so it'll make, if this fight was action fight, then I, I really feel like that would be an interesting fight. Plus, pride's going to be on the line. Both guys have, you know, for lack of a better word, shit talked to each other and talked a bit of shit, done some trash talk. So it's going to be a lot on the line and... You know, it's just a very fun. I would just sit back and watch that as a fan. I would, I would love that. You know, it's just a very fun stylistic matchup. They have a mutual opponent, Jose Pedraza. Different outcomes. Tank stopped Pedraza. Tevin Farmer early in his career lost to Pedraza by stoppage. So you know, Pedraza is getting ready to fight Lomachenko. So there's no shame in in losing to a good fighter who's been a champion and is a champion again in a, in another weight class at 135. So you know, it's popping. Conor McGregor, he's in the fights for Boston. It's good to see the Irish support the Irish on the card, Tennyson and Katie Taylor. And Boston has a, a very dense Irish population. You know, you look at Mickey Ward and 
um, just a lot of people from they have some Irish blood that are from Boston. So it's good to see them turn up and support kind of like I said, Conor McGregor was in the crowd and Pauli Malignaggi is calling the fight for Sky or somebody. So we might see some videos of them having some kind of altercation because Pauli Malignaggi and Conor don't seem to really like each other. And they're both going to be probably press row ringside in the same hallways and stuff like that. I think Tank Davis might also be. I didn't get to see earlier in the car, but I heard he was going. He's from B more and this is just in Boston. So he, he might have went to scope uh, Tevin Farmer. So we might get some good videos from that. But shout out to Tevin Farmer. He looks slick in there, offensive, complete, you know, and he, he's in his mode as a champion. So great fights for him. And we'll see what happens next. Let me know what you guys thought of the fight. Tevin Farmer dominated this Tennyson dude. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.